Y'all get ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and spill some more tea, honey. So if you guys do not know about an hour ago, Famulus just got some text messages. Basically, Cardi B's cell phone was hacked and they have released text messages of her going in on Nicki Minaj, demanding that they change the song because she felt like Nicki Minaj was disrespecting her on the song Motorsport. And she's going back and forth for Offset to talk to Quavo about it. This entire situation is messy as hell. But another thing that I find really funny while going through these text messages something that I have suspected from day one ever since I found out that Cardi B was pregnant even before it became public I always felt like she got pregnant on purpose I did not feel like this was a oops baby because of how far and how fast her career was going you don't just slip up like that you don't just slip up and have an accident like that you know what I'm saying I've always felt that Cardi B wanted to get pregnant on purpose regardless of what she told Charlamagne on the breakfast club I felt like she wanted a baby. You know what I'm saying? She felt like the guy that she's with, he has money. Regardless if he has other kids, she knows she's basically set. And in these text messages, she tells Offset, I want a baby. So everything I've been suspecting has just been validated. I'm going to go ahead and read you guys these messy ass text messages. I don't know how the hell Famulus got them, but they're definitely legit if she has them. So now on top of that, a lot of folks are saying that it's probably Nicki Minaj's camp that hacked her cell phone and released it i don't know but i'm here for it bitch okay i'm gonna go ahead and read you guys these text messages go ahead and check this out i'm just gonna read the back and forth between cardi b and offset she says i keep my eyes and ears to the mix because niggas be plotting but i don't want nobody but you then offset says you gotta cut sosa off he be too close and it be making me uncomfortable as your man don't feel secure right now she says cool with me he says, thank you for understanding. Then Cardi says, I want a baby. And then he says, we gonna get it. So that right there just proves what I've been thinking this whole time that she got pregnant on purpose. So now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the Nicki Minaj part. So then Cardi says, the whole thing is getting messy. Offset says, why babe? They so upset in Atlantic and my management, they so upset at you guys because they feel like y'all was trying to set me up for failure. I told him, why would you think it's okay for a bitch to diss me? He was like, I understand that you feel disrespected, but you killed your verse, but that's not the point. Nobody's going to give a fuck about a verse when a bitch is violating me. And then I told him, I'm so upset at this type of shit. I'm so upset this is the type of shit that makes me want to divorce somebody. Well, I'm going to say something to clear my name. I like to be the hot nigga and could talk to my bro instead of trying to make me like I knew about all of this when you know me, babe. I don't do anything to hurt you at all. You're my wife. It's everybody, though. It's Atlantic. It's Jay Shaft. It's my sister, my godfather. It's everybody. I've been so down today, and I don't want to deal with niggas on your side. They took you off the record, right? Yeah, Atlantic told them we pulling back. They already down my throat. Your girl unloyal to you, and this was going to help her more than anybody. Your girl is unloyal to you, and this was going to help her more than anybody. All that, all that you don't have to follow up. And P and Coach said, we gonna talk to the boys about this when they get back. But everybody on some fuck shit. Ain't nobody talking about. Huh? Retext last message. None to talk about. Now it's easy for them to say that because they're not the ones getting played on the record. I am. They think you're going to get your own look with her. And it's time that Cap and I need to tell them you're not expecting. Why am I the fucking problem? Why is she not the problem? I did my part. Niggas ain't going to diss or play me. I work too hard. I will never work with that bitch. I'm going to beat her ass. And for them to say I'm disloyal to you because they want me because they want me out and that's not fucking fair. It makes me feel like I don't want to be around these niggas at all. The fuck? Everybody want to come down my throat like a god straight disrespecting me. Offset then says, that's the label, not Quavo. And they say they may make her change that shit. I said, I don't care. Don't talk to me about it no more. Your phone died? Yes, my phone died. 
Niggas should have done the shit in the beginning. I personally myself don't want to do it no more. I feel disrespected. Okay, not if we took her off. This is a number one. Nah, I'm done. I feel cross. By me? And did you use Floyd biting your drip on the bracelet? I don't want to do the song. I don't even believe that you never heard the verse. Neither you really though. It was okay for that shit to go down like that. Did your partners think it was okay for me to look crazy like that? I can't take that shit out my head. I really don't even want to be around the niggas. Because I know I'm going to say some shit. You back to saying you blame your husband, bro? You shouldn't have bought it back up. Oh, my God. I don't want to go to Atlanta tomorrow because I don't want to argue with you. I love you, and I don't want to argue, but I'm so turned off. I hate this relationship, and I quit this time. All because of music that don't care about the love. It's not real enough. This whole week, I've been wanting to fuck you, kiss you. I'm so disgusted. I don't want to be touched. Okay. You hurt me back, and you don't care about that. Do you know how you embarrass me to 12 million people? You got to make that shit up or what? Your people don't even like me or fucking respect me. Everybody's so fucking fake. I hate this industry shit. I love you. You're not talking about that nigga that marked you. Everybody's so shady and constantly doubting me, setting me for failure like always. I changed the game up for you. Been there when shit was at zero. You crossing me, maybe it's better you don't see me. I put my all into this shit, not music, you. I know it is, I just need some time or just wait till the whole thing blows over. I love you, I just need time to think. Motherfucker, I got backlash from the beginning like you did about being with you from Love and Hip Hop, but I said, fuck them, I love you before you popped. Whoo! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry after all that damn reading and shit, I got a little bit damn thirsty, okay? Y'all think my cup is empty, it's not empty, there's tea in here. It's cold tea, but damn it, there's tea in here, okay? Damn, I feel like a black mother goose reading all that bullshit. They type like they're damn 15 and 16. It was so hard to decipher that shit. But with that being said, I'm glad I made it through. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad a lot of the things I suspected about their relationship, it was all laid out in the forefront. They clearly have a lot of love for each other. She's clearly in love with Offset. He clearly has a lot of love for her. You know what I'm saying? He may cheat and do all that other shit, but he clearly is in love with her. They clearly plant this baby, this whole pregnancy all of this stuff was a ploy and it just goes to show you how fake, how fickle the industry is. And I definitely understand where Cardi B's coming from because if you listen to the original Motorsport where Nicki Minaj laid her track, it did sound like she was low key throwing shots at Cardi when she said that Cardi's the QB. I mean, you could say it stands for queen bitch or most people would think that that means quarterback or you know what I'm saying, you're basically like the Robin to her Batman. So I can see why Cardi kind of felt like she was being played and especially being that Quavo is the one who put everything together. So now it makes sense where Nicki Minaj is coming from where she's saying that they made her change the verse. So Nicki wasn't lying about that. Cardi B definitely felt some type of way, called Nicki Minaj out on it, called Quavo out on it. Nicki ended up changing it. So I don't know. I just find this really crazy that after Nicki Minaj did that interview and folks were attacking her once again and making her out to be the villain, now all of a sudden Cardi B's phone gets hacked and now all the tea is being splashed, honey. I don't know what's going to come of this, but I definitely don't feel like they're real true friends. I do feel like it's just an industry connection and I feel like there's a lot of underlying animosity there between the both of them I'm not buying this whole kumbaya facade that they were both trying to put out there like you know she's cool you know I've met her before everything's all good that's just that fake industry bullshit they definitely see each other as competition Cardi B knows that Nicki Minaj sees her as competition and Nicki Minaj knows that deep down inside Cardi B is her competition so this entire situation honey is a hot damn mess but like I told y'all from jump I'm here for it bitch okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this this entire crazy situation concerning these leaked text messages of Cardi B and Offset. What do you guys think about the text messages? Do you feel like, you know, they basically incriminated Cardi and she's not as innocent as she's made herself seem, that she definitely was feeling some type of way about Nicki's verse? Do you agree that she should have felt some type of way? Do you feel like Nicki Minaj was being shady and she knew what she was doing? And then how do you feel about Quavo being in the middle of all this drama? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.